I'd like to talk a little bit about the raw product. This is where a web bulb comes from. Maybe tell me a little bit about what you're holding in your hands. Yep, this is actually a piece of raw stock, uh, blank, and it's a uh, plate a quarter inch, um, mild steel, what we call pickled and oiled, and this is what it will look like before we actually have it laser cut. Okay, it comes back from laser cutting. The next step is uh, putting, doing the sandblasting. Yep. Then after that, you have a little bit of a drilling to do? That's right. We actually punch holes for the mounting locations. Um, next, we will weld the mounting points in, the two ears. Uh, and then I will bend it on the press brake that you saw, and I will also countersink the holes okay. if it's ready for finishing. All right, here's the web board in the blank version. We haven't formed it up yet. We haven't done any welding, no hole punching, no countersinking. So the first order of business, we want to bend this bend line here. A uh, little way we have of quality control is to, we check every single bend I put in the material. Um, if it's overbent, we know that it's not going to work as far as the angle we want. And if it's underbent, it's going to interfere with the bike. It'll, there'll be some clearance issues. So every web board we make requires a, say, a quality control check. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to form this up and show you how it's done. So there's the web board formed up. Now what we do is we just check the, the bend, make sure we have the right degree. And every, every web board, like I said, gets checked. So. I've wrestled with the 